So beat resort of Antalya. So it's the final day of action for the women at the Antalya Open, the second time that Antalya has hosted an Open. And we already know that Laura Ludwig and Kira Volkenhorst, the number one seeds, are through to the final after beating Holvig and Semler, the compatriots, in a thoroughly entertaining game in the first semi-final. Very close affair, but now it's down to the teams from Argentina and Finland to see who can join them. It's Anna Galai and Georgina Klug of Argentina up against Rika Lehtinen and Taru Lati of Finland. The weather, well, it's uh, sunny, 22 degrees, humidity is down. It's uh, almost perfect day to play beach volleyball. And a real opportunity for both pairs to try and win a first gold medal for their country on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. With five straight victories this week, Galay and Gluck have moved up a spot on the Rio Provisional Ranking List to number 14. And with only 15 pairs of the maximum two per country qualifying for the Copacabana Quadrennial event, via the FIVB World Tour. This is a key match for them. The referees, Fabio Ancora, the number one referee from Spain. There he is. And he'll be ably assisted on the near side by Christian Nogada from Belgium. So just going back to qualification, the Argentinians now lead Fan Wang and Yu of China by uh, just 10 points. Now, if the Argentinians here can win, they'll get an extra 100 points by making it to the final. Anna Galli, 173 centimeters in height, and her partner Georgina Klug, 172 centimeters in height. So not the tallest pair on the tour by any stretch of the imagination, especially when you compare them to these two in white from Finland. Rika Lehtonen, 183 centimeters tall. So 10 centimeters advantage over Galai, the taller of the two Argentinians. Number two is Taru Lati. 178 in height. Best finish on the tour for the finish. Pair was fourth in Sochi. Best finish for the Argentinian pair. Second at the Xiamen Open in September last year. The Argentinian pair lost to Zumke and Heidrich of Switzerland in that bronze medal game, in that gold medal game, sorry. And in the bronze medal match that the Finnish pair played, they too lost the same pair. And it is Klug to get us underway. And the first point goes the way of Finland. Rika Lehtinen with the spike.
And she's at it again. Is Lertonham. Naughty and Lertonham. 630 points behind Wang and Yu. So it could be the Continental Cup route for them to the Olympic Games. Well, it's been the perfect start for Lati and Lertonham. And Argentina finally on the scoreboard. Argentinians start to click. Galai with the spike, which Dati uh, couldn't deal with. Long. So Finland open up with a run of three points, and then Argentina respond with. Three of their own. Good blocking from Galai. Nicely done. Just rolling it into the empty court by Klug. Through the block, no touch. Six three. You see the referee just checking with the line official timeout called by Finland. Having taken the first three points, Argentina have responded and taken the next six, so Leighton and Lati trying to take the sting out of the Argentinian game. Lati and Leighton have been become the first ever women's or men's team from Finland to win a medal at an FIVB World Tour event. In fact, Lati and Leighton are the only tandem from their country to ever play in a World Tour semi-final when they reached the final four in Sochi last September. The Nystrom twins, uh, Emilia and Erica, did win an FIVB satellite event in 2003 in France, but on the main tour, Finland don't have any medals at all. We already mentioned Karin Glug have won a silver medal. Xiamen Open in China, that's Argentina's only women's podium placement on the world tour. Bravo. And the timeout does the trick because they're back on the points trail. With the service error. 
reinstates the three point lead. Klug to serve. Ah, good blocking from Galai. Lettinen trying to go down the line. And Klug trying to rev up the crowd. And she makes her way back to the serve. Cross court from Galai. Nine five. The uh, number six seeds lead. Darty and Lettinen, the number fifteen seeds. Power from Lati is enough to win the point. Oh, right on the line. Right on the line. Both fins go for the same ball. 10-7 now, Argentina lead. But first real rally of the match. A bit of communication required. Good work from Lettenham. Argentina had their opportunities, but it was some good backcourt play by Lettenham. To turn defence into attack and ultimately the point. That one's too long. It will be Galai and Klug who have the advantage at the technical timeout, which is coming up right after this point. And a lovely cross court means it's as close as it can be at the technical timeout. 11 10, Argentina lead. See a replay that final point. These two accidentally, incidentally, not accidentally, incidentally, have met each other once before, and that was here in Antalya in October last year. And on that occasion, it uh, was the Argentinians, Galai and Klug, who were senior three at the time who came through. Martin Lettin 
Seeded nine last year. 21-17, 21-19 in 38 minutes. The Argentinian pair won. But in terms of this uh, year, Galein Klug won all their matches and Paul left to top it. Just dropped the one set to so the Polish pair of uh, Gruszczynska and Strag. Latin Lettinen finished second behind Borga and Borta in Pool B, but then beat Borga and Borta in the quarterfinals, having dropped the first set. Down the line, and it finds the mark. Krug down the line, 12-10. Bravo, Lettonen. Comes up with the winner. Good defensive work from Lettonen now. That's two she's dug out. And her Good defensive theory. effort gets the point. Bravo. Well done. Rika Lettonen. Marati with instinctive action. Now, 12 all, Lettonen to serve. Cross courts from Galai. Too long. This time that no, was defense is broken. Fourteen all. Another good rally. Marta could have gotten the full power behind the spike, but it was enough to wrong foot the Argentinian defence. And Anna Gallai. Good work. Klug with the winner. Down the line. 
The first time we'll see it on Dunny of this year, here's Akagai Hildu. Cross court. And, uh, hanging on to the coattails here. Lurton and Lati. Well, there's a super defensive dig by Fug earlier on in the rally, but it wasn't enough to give Argentina the point. And Argentina take a timeout. In this thoroughly entertaining game that Finland now lead by 16 points to 15. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Finland racing out to a 3-0 lead. Argentina responding with six straight points. Lead six straight. We've led from that point until now. So the final throws of this first set. Marty to serve. And again, Georgina Klug tries to get the crowd going. We see a replay of the last point. Klug serving. Letting him down the line. Advantage at the moment with the Finns as they side out to stay in front. Ah, oh, that's a magnificent day from Lehtinen. Huge play. From the finish number one, that's the finish of it, but it was the earlier dig, full length to a right hand side with the right fist to keep it alive that set up the point. Now all they have to do is side out because they have the one point or the two point advantage, the service error from there too. Lati, sorry. Probably to be expected with the adrenaline pumping through off the last point, but nothing special required from the Finns now. It's been a topsy turvy set, so anything is far from simple. Touch on the net. 18 all. She's revving them up again, is Klug. Oh, 
So Gallo to serve. Lesson just sorting out her sunglasses. Lovely dig from Lettinen again. She's had an excellent game. Rika, Rika Lettinen again with a huge play. And a really important time of this opening set at 18 all. Comes up with a fantastic dig and then finishes it off. 19-18, Finland lead. Wow, there's been some superb defensive effort. This time, it's Georgina Klug with a massive play. Wow, that saved two set points, that dig. Georgina Klug somehow keeping that ball alive. Chance for... Yellow and Klug to have a chat as Finland clean the sunglasses. So who will get the first set points? Argentina or Finland? The answer is Finland. Lati down the middle. First set points. Oh, Lieutenant with a chance to win it, puts it into the net. Fluke's on her knees again. Oh, they've left it. They've left it to each other. Well, there was an instance in the early run in the set where there was a lack of communication and it had an Argentina point. This time, though, it's a really big point because it's set point to Argentina having just saved one. They now have one of their own. Oh, what a reply from Lati. Nerves of steel from the 23-year-old. Oh, just as we had in the first semi-final, a really tight opening set. 24-22 in the first semi-final. How far will this one go? Second set point for Argentina. Rescues the situation, 22 all. They've been consistently serving to Lati, Argentina, as they did on that last point, but in the defensive effort, it fell to Lettenham for the spike and she put it away. Oh, she's popped it long. Again, they go to Lati. 
23-23. They level it up at 23 all. 27 to run together. Tarunaki, Rika Lechteren. There you go. And Lettinen makes it 24-23 to fill in the second set point for the finished pair. Set point for Vita. Lati with the serve. Oh no! The arrow from Blue! And it is Finland that take the opening set. It was on an error rather than a winner. So Argentina have to pick themselves up, but Finland take the first set 25 23. Well, how important will that be? And the reason I say that is that. The Finnish pair played three games yesterday because they came second in their pool. They didn't get a bye in the first knockout round. So three games yesterday, two of them went to three sets. The one against uh, Matautu and Miller of Vanuatu was 55 minutes. Then the one against Borga and Burta was also 55 minutes. And a 35 minute game against Navarra and Ribera of Spain a little earlier on. So they were on out court for two hours and 25 minutes yesterday. And you compare that to the Argentinians, they were only on court for 56 minutes yesterday in their two matches combined. So a lot more volleyball for the Finnish pair yesterday than their, than their opponents today. And so. Perhaps you feel it was key they took the first set because I'm sure they wouldn't want to go another hour out on court. So, the first set goes the way of Lettinen and Lati. Lettinen with some huge plays in that first set and it will be her that gets set two underway. Lethnik can't quite dig that one out. Off the block of Galai. Yep, good Bravo, work Georgina. from Kluge. Once more. Yeah, nice work from Guy. 
3, 3 eşitlik var. Bu servisten sonra saha değişimi gelecek. One point for switch. Luke to serve, just a mix up in the Argentinian order, put right by the technical bench. Bravo, Rika Lehtonen, side three, sahne değişimi geliyor. İlk ölü sahip olan kızımız buraya gelebilir mi? Ben buradan ayrılamıyorum. Cut shot. Lesnar went the wrong way. Into the far side of the court, her right. Good disguise from Argentina. Ah, oh, lovely blocking by Lati. Another good block by Lati. Seven four. All teams played against each other here in Italia last year. The winners were Anagalai Kyoku. Just too long. Leading 7 5. Yeah, good work. It's letting it again. Having a big game. Rico Lettinen. Yeah. Spike by Galai. Two point game. Eight six now. Oh. Rolls it along the top of the net. Just about had enough on it. Have another look at this. That was desperately close. Unlucky from Klug. Gets the line. Just alternating between two and three points difference at the moment. Yeah. 
Yeah, nice work. If Argentina don't seem to win the, their first point, it becomes very difficult for them because Letton's always in the backcourt, which means after she takes the third touch. And more often than not, she's finding the mark. Again, you see there, Lesnar with the first defensive touch. And she gets the third. And at the technical timeout, uh, Finland lead 13 points to eight. There needs to be a change of tactic here from Argentina. They need to try and pick out Lati if they can. They're doing that from the serve, but they're not doing it from open play. So Finland in control now of this second semi-final. Set up and 13-8. Argentina need to come out of this technical timeout. All oh, guns blazing. They need the first couple of points, you feel. It was alternating between two and three points. But... Uh, from 10-8, uh, little run of three has given Finland some breathing space. Lieutenant to serve. Lieutenant again. And she is driving this match. The Finland number one, Rika Lettinen. If Finland come through this semi-final, they will be guaranteed a medal. It will be their first ever medal. On the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. Good work from Galai. They've got the scoreboard ticking again. After conceding four straight points. Now it's Lati's turn, but this time she opts for placement, just rolling it over the block. And Argentina struggling right now just to cope with the Finland game oh good work from Gala Letton and I think got a little bit disorientated she left it I think she could have reached it had she wanted to let's have another look on the Replay, watch here. Oh no, she just got disoriented. She turned to her left rather than her right. If she turns to her right, I think she might get it. Oh, did that need to be played? Doesn't matter because she's come up with the winner has clue, but I'm not convinced she needs to make that defensive play. There is a lot of power on it. And Finland take, them, take a time out. Argentina close the gap by one. Good disguise. Just opening the palm of the hand to go cross court from Glug. Mm 
Don't forget that we'll continue with the men's competition on center court. So, Alexander Bravo, Robert Musa, Argentina are oh, making their opponents Italy. think Italy. The control their own destiny here, Finland. Lettonen had an excellent game. So, it will be Anna Galai to serve off the back of this timeout called by Finland. Finland lead a set and 15 11. Well, this is Argentina the way that Argentina want Finland. They want Lettonen in the front court, Lati in the back. Back to three. And a change of angle by Galai. We go to Lettonen. Lettonen takes off the power and opts to roll it down the line. Yeah, nice work, Galai, with the little tip and over the block. Comes back off the net for Fluke. Oh, nice power from Galai, wound up into that one. Just came with Luke far too quickly. And they're three points away from their first ever medal, Finland. And again, good defensive effort by both teams. But Finland now really in the box seat. 14 in this second set. And here we go then, six match points, Finland on the verge of their first ever medal, men or women's beach volleyball world tour. Do they celebrate?
Beach Volleyball. They will win a medal for the very first time in beach volleyball here in Antalya. A wonderful game. And Rika Lettinen was the linchpin of that win. And they tables on the Argentinians who last year. Real disappointment for Argentina, but look at the way Klug is congratulating them. Real rivalry when they're on the court, but real friendship when the game is done and dusted. There'll be real disappointment for Argentina, but Finland was superb. Once they won that first set, they really settled into the match. And they can't stop celebrating. We're trying to get a word with them. Just trying to usher them over to Tin Simmons. Let's hear from them now. Congratulations. First time Finland's ever won a medal, men's or women's. It's crazy, just unbelievable. Like what a game we made yesterday. And after three games yesterday, all the energy would be found today for the game because they didn't let it easy. So the feeling is great, but the competition is not over. At the end of the first set, they had a couple of set points, but you came on strong after controlling. Yeah, because we had it in our hands, the, the set and a few points advantage for us. So it's a shame that then we lost those, but then we still kept the concentration until the end and we made the first. Talk about your partner. She played very well in the second set to give you the lead. Yeah, this was just an amazing game. Like she was she was all the time there and, and the concentration stayed like the whole two sets. And, and that's why we are in a final now. How big a win is this for you? It's really big win at the moment. Never before like this. And yeah, it's, it's big, but we want more. <laughs> okay, your last match with Ludwig and Wackenhurst was a three-setter in Rio. What do you got planned now? Uh, now my head is empty, so I need to refill it a little bit. But uh, that's a wrong, like really strong uh, team, we need to stay focused as we stay now. That's a, they have really strong attack, so we need to push with our serve to get a little problems in the in their side out, just to get our own block and defense to work. Well, congratulations, Finland! First medal. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, many, many congratulations! What a game that was. Well, they've got themselves just under four hours to recover before they take on the number one seeds Ludwig and Vulcan Horse in the gold medal match scheduled at around 4.45 this afternoon. So, what a match we have just witnessed. History has been made here in Antalya. Rika Lettinen and Taru Lati of Finland will win their country's first ever medal in a beach volleyball world tour event. They have beaten Galai and Klug of Argentina 25-23, 21-14.